Any other questions? Go ahead and start. Jim Coyle. Coach, you guys uh, get off to your best start uh, this year, especially from behind the three-point line, hitting four straight. And uh, then at about the, after about eight minutes, things that there was just a big change. What happened at that point where uh, Auburn started to turn the tide on this game? I thought both teams came out ready to play. I mean, from a physical standpoint, um, we couldn't really move the ball. I mean, I just look back at our very first play that we tried to execute. You know, that's just how they play. And I thought even with that, we overcame early their physicality and made shots and got stops and got rebounds. And then, you know, I made some substitutions and, and I'm not putting it on our bench because when, when I put our starters back in the game, the score was tied. And then they just physically took us out of everything that we wanted to do. So you got to give them credit. I'm not happy with the way we play tonight. I mean, it's just, it's kind of like a carbon copy of our UConn game, you know, where they couldn't score, we couldn't score, and it was back and forth. And then finally, we just caved in. And, and that's something we got to get better in that area in terms of putting a 40 minute ball games. I thought we came out ready to play. I mean, I'm 12, can't have a lopsided game like that. And that's kind of on me. Tom and Jeff. Mike, you gave up 104 points, but also only forced three turnovers. I mean, what, and what were the problems specifically? That's, that that's was not, the difference. You just kind of hit it on the head. Uh, three turnovers. I'd say that they were the most physical team tonight. And, you know, I mean, a game like this, you got to force more turnovers, get more stops. You know, rebounding wasn't that, that big of a difference, but I just thought physically they they were the better team tonight. Jeff and Todd? Yeah, Coach, like you said, you guys got up 22 to 10, and then when the starters came out, I think it was a 20 to 4 Auburn run. Was there any thought of maybe not taking, you know, Ware and Baco? And and uh, Renault out at the same time. Was there any thought of me not taking? I kind of substitute pretty much the same way every game. You can't just burn them. Bottom line was when my starters got back in the game. It was probably a close tied game, and the same guys that were on the floor when we started the game went the other way. That was the difference in the ball game. So, I mean, you can't play them for 40 minutes. You gotta play some of your, your bench guys. And I believe in my bench. So I went to my bench. It was my bench in the Michigan game that helped us win the game. Todd and Mike. Mike, uh, Colel and Malik were both listed questionable before the game. They obviously played, but was there anything, first of all, why were they questionable? And secondly, anything that you feel like it affected them in terms of being able to play for no, I mean, again, I, I'm not using that as an excuse. So they, they started the game, and we didn't play well as a, as a unit. And I got to get us in a better position, you know, especially when we're playing teams like that. You know, we got a big week this, this week coming up where we got to play Kansas. We got a week to prepare. I got to get us in a better place where we can put a 40-minute ball game together against a really elite team. Again, I mean, you know, not having an exit, I'm not using that as an excuse. I mean, he's a senior point guard that can score the ball and make plays for, especially when we're being pressed, pressure like we were. And that hurt. But again, you show wonderful signs tonight against a good team, you know, early on. And we just didn't sustain it over the 40 minute ball game. Right here, then we'll wrap up with Seth. You mentioned UConn a little bit earlier. You guys ripped off four straight wins after that. What do you feel like this loss and the kind of sense about where you guys are at right now? Got a lot of work still in front of us. You know, I mean, I've always said that. You know, we got to take it a practice at a time, a game at a time, and and build. I mean, 
you know, this won't set us back. We'll we'll rebound from it and and keep marching along. Last question, Seth. You mentioned the full court pressure that you faced, and obviously having X would have made, would have helped you with that a little bit. But you know, that's kind of how Auburn, you know, how Auburn started to turn the tide a little bit. Just what sort of issues was that causing for you guys? Again, I mean. They didn't do anything differently than we thought they would do. And they pressed us right from the start and we were able to get the ball in and, and make plays. And I don't know if fatigue set in, you know, Malik threw a couple of them away, you know, as, as the guy that was taking the ball out of bounds. And uh, we just didn't execute in, in certain situations. I mean, once we got the ball in, I mean, Pressure was relieved and we just get the ball up, but we didn't execute in the half court set. All right, thanks, coach.